Extreme rules means anything goes and the fight can go anywhere in the arena, the locker room, or the parking lot. But pin or submission must occur in the ring. One of the dangers of an extreme rules match is it can very quickly turn into an all-out brawl. A match like this shows what having devious intentions is all about. A competitor can't hesitate to do what they need to do. Through, not finished yet. Here it comes. Driven down hard. The advantage now is squarely in his corner. Yeah, he's fulfilling his game plan to the T. Boom. Oh, look at this. Fireman's carry takedown. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Not everyone's cut out for extreme rules. Maybe he wasn't ready. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Ah, face first. Ah. Oh, what a flip. Nice body control. And now he's on the downside. Yeah, this has to decrease his composure. Moving forward. can transpire in a matchup like this. What could be that elusive X factor? It is mission critical to be adaptable. If it's anything goes, then use that to your advantage before your opponent does. This is an environment where a competitor can be reminded real quick what goes around comes around. And you might be forced to revamp your strategy when you least expect it. Swing for the fences with a kendo stick. Send your opponent crashing through a table. Fight up the ramp. Whatever insanity you can come up with is fair game. The wheelbarrow. Boom, DDT. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Hooked up. DDT. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. Rolling neck snap. He is just reeling from that offense. Well, you don't sign up for an Extreme Rules match without knowing the consequences, Cole. Oh, run! Wasting absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. Up and... Oh, knee right in the spine! Uh-oh. It's gonna... We're gonna see it! Stop! This is just raw power, period. Driven down face first. Big clothesline. Look at him, pride and poise personified. This isn't the smartest thing to do, antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Control applied in oh, oh, a kick. That was nasty. Oh, battering their opponent. So, no man does that better. Cover. And he might have been able to 
cinch things there. I don't understand the choice to stop the pin count. By forearm stun. And now kicks. And a combination of kicks. This is hard to get out of. I'm not quite sure if this man shouldn't tap out. This is about career longevity, self-preservation. Tap out. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Snatched away. This match just keeps getting. He wants it one more time. 